Hey guys, it's Jonathan here from Rivers and Robots, and I've just made it to the site of David's tent. Here we are. Due to a last minute crazy plan, I've had to come down early. Um, it's kind of a cool thing though, because we were playing with house fires last weekend at Open Skies, and they didn't have anyone playing keys for them at David's tent, so they asked if I'd step in, which is very exciting, slightly terrifying. Anyway, I got a text last night saying that we're going to be sound checking at 9am in the morning. Uh, now David's tent's like a five or six hour drive from Manchester, so I actually ended up setting off last night. I drove to a hotel in Guildford, which is about a five hour drive, and then it was just an hour this morning. So. Just arrived on the site, we've just done the sound check, and the rest of the Rivers and Robots guys will be joining us this afternoon when David's tent officially starts. So, it's gonna be good. So David's tent is one of our favorite festivals anyway, but this one's gonna be extra special because this is gonna be our last gig with David on guitar, so it's gonna be emotional. So it's gonna be a pretty fun last gig with our current lineup until uh, Rivers and Robots version two comes out next month. <laughs> Nathan and Dan have arrived. It's tent setty up time. Yes. <laughs> David's tent is basically 72 hours of non-stop worship, being in the presence of God, praying, and uh, the music just carries on. As one band finishes, the next band comes on and we just transition. This is the main tent over here. This is where it all happens. There are a few other tents, such as the breakout tent over here, where they have seminars and different sessions. Yeah. Bunch of food vans kind of this way. And prayer tents over here. There's a bunch of stuff going on. Uh, but the main event is this thing right here. The big tent where continual worship is going on for 72 hours. Set in the main tent. This is our last ever set with Dave Hales. This is Dave. Hey. Blessings for the future. How was Thank it? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Yeah. yeah I, mean, I love David's tent. It's so good. <laughs> and we also had uh, Kath Davis over here on cello. Kath cello. Davis. We had Joe Bostock on drums, who played on Still Volume 1, and Dan White on saxophone, who played on the Eternal Sun track. So, an extra sweet tones. It's good fun. So that was a brief look at our weekend at David's tent. Um, we've actually been back now for about a week and I'm sorry this video is a little bit slow. I'm a little behind on the vlogs as we're playing catch up with a lot of the work we have to do now that we're back in Manchester. But, um, but I think having a week to reflect on everything God did over that weekend has been really great and I wanted to share a little testimony slash encouragement for you guys. So one of my highlights for me at David's tent was the Saturday morning session with two of my favourite worship leaders. John Thurlow and Laura Hackett. The reason that session was so special for me was because it took me right back to 2011 when me and my dad flew over to IHOP KC for their One Thing conference. I remember walking into the prayer room at that event and this guy called John Thurlow was there and he was leading worship and singing this song, Jesus You're Beautiful. Now, I didn't know who he was, I'd never heard this song before, but I remember encountering God in such a powerful way in that room and that really was the beginning of a whole week of encountering God in crazy ways and the theme of that conference was Jesus our magnificent obsession and exploring all these different attributes of who Jesus was and my mind was just blown over the whole week. I learned so much about Jesus that I never knew before. I remember coming back from that event and all I wanted to do was spend time with Jesus. I would spend hours in my room just worshipping, 
reading the Bible, sometimes just on my face in prayer. And I was encountering God in crazy ways and he's shown me new things in the word. And it was actually over that period that I wrote the album Take Everything, which is still a really special album to me. And on that Saturday morning session at David's Tent, when John Thurlow was singing the song Jesus You're Beautiful, I had my eyes closed and I was worshipping. And it's like God just took me back to being in that prayer room in 2011 and reminded me of that feeling that I had when I came home of just complete obsession with wanting to be in the presence of God. And and you might think after 72 hours of non-stop worship day and night that I might be ready for something else. But to be honest, I've come back and all I want to do is carry on. <laughs> the more you worship, the more you want to worship. Like the more time you spend in God's presence, the more you realize there is nothing better in the world than being in the presence of God. And I honestly think that time spent worshiping God is never a waste. There is no such thing as too much worship because God is infinitely worthy. God's worthy of 24 seven worship. He's worthy of 25 eight worship if we could do that, but we're limited to 24 seven. Like you try going into the throne room scene that we read about in Revelation where there's angels and saints on their faces before the throne of God crying out, holy, 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 and just go up to one of them and be like, don't you think you can stop now? You've been doing this long enough. Like, they'll probably just look at you like, huh? <laughs> there are so many good things that you can do in life and it doesn't mean that you shouldn't do any of those things, but time spent worshiping is never wasted time. I honestly believe that. And so with that, festival season is now done. We're back in Manchester now and throughout September, we're gonna be in the set sale office working on a bunch of behind the scenes stuff. Uh, we're gonna be practicing with the new band, working on some new music. We're building towards our biggest gather event that we've ever done at the end of September. And we have some new ministry trips coming up to Japan and Costa Rica, which we'll be sharing more about very soon. So there'll be plenty of content coming your way soon, guys. Thank you for watching this video and we will see you next time. Set sail video blog. Set sail video blog. It's a video, it's a blog as well. Set sail.